What's up everybody? Today we are going to be making a super adorable Easter cake. My name is Lori and you are watching The Icing Artist. To make this cake, I used an 8 inch round chocolate cake. I baked two thick cakes, divided them in half so I had four delicious layers. And of course, what doesn't pair better with chocolate cake than chocolate buttercream? I layered up my layers of cake with my chocolate buttercream cake, chocolate buttercream cake. And then I gave the entire thing a really nice crumb code to lock all those crumbs right into the cake. And of course, for my full buttercream recipe and how to make it, I will leave a link right here for you guys. Also leave links down below in the description box to all of the recipes and tools and such things that I'm using in this video. The reason behind making a chocolate cake and chocolate icing, not only is it like super delicious, but because it's gonna look like dirt that the bunny is kind of digging around in, we want it to be all brown and chocolatey on the inside. I then did a nice thick layer of chocolate buttercream going around the whole cake, smoothing out the sides, going round and round and round till it was perfectly smooth, and doing the same thing with the top. We're gonna be covering the top of the cake in Oreo crumbs. Yummy. I know, like, like, like a chocolate cake and the chocolate buttercream and the Oreo crumbs, like how could you go wrong? Surrounding our cake, I thought it'd be really cute to make a little white picket fence. I rolled out my white fondant, cut it into strips with this really fancy fondant strip cutter. I used the same tool to then mark out the lines on this cake. Thank you, thank you, that was genius. This worked out fantastic. I always have wonky lines when I'm trying to put something perfectly on a cake. This marked them out perfectly so I was able to, you know, just, just lay my fondant right there and match it up. I layered my two pieces of fondant going all the way around the cake and I glued this on using some water. Our fence is going to need those like pickets on it, right? So I added some pylos into my fondant so that way it dries nice and hard. You guys can also use gum paste, that works as well. I cut them out the same way I did the other strips of fondant we already put on the cake. Except for these ones, I cut off both corners at the top of it to make this kind of shape. You know, like a triangle but without cutting off the bottom of the triangle. Kind of like a house shape, or like a really tall house shape. Things that are standing up 3D, I always like to make ahead of time, you know, like three days or so. That way they're ready to go and nice and dry to put on our cake. I add a little water onto our cake strips and then I put my little fence post right on there, sliding it like up and down a little bit. I don't know, for some reason if you, if you slide the fence thing around a little bit, it sticks better to the water. Going all the way around the cake, making sure they were like pretty evenly spaced. If you guys aren't currently subscribed to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe. We just hit 200,000 subscribers, which is amazing, super fantastic, and I would love your guys' help reaching maybe 300,000. Oh yeah, and, and we put out weekly videos, like, like every week. This next part, like I, like I can't, this worked out so well and is so genius, so happy with it. I cut out like a little cone shape using my knife and then kind of pulled that cone out. I may or may not have eaten that little piece of cake. It may or may not have been delicious. So I filled out that hole using my orange buttercream icing. You guys can also use, if you want to do like orange whipped cream or maybe like an orange ganache. You cut into the cake, it's gonna look like a carrot going right into the dirt. Kind of piled my little Oreo crumbs around my little carrot nub for a little bunny bun that's, you know, like sticking up in the air as he's digging through the dirt for the carrots. I rolled a big ball of white fondant and then made two little feet that were kind of like flat ovals. Glued those on and then added my little cotton ball tail and his little kind of like pink paws. Around the bunny, I added a bunch of Oreo crumbs on the top of it so it looked like he was like really buried there in the dirt and some around his paws so it looks like he's like you know, kicking it back. I then added some green buttercream grass going all the way around our fence. Our carrots are not complete without their kind of grassy looking leaves. So I cut those out of green fondant that I can add some tylos into them, rested them over a piece of paper towel to dry for a few days. Now they are ready to add right into our carrots. It is just so cute. And of course, when you guys slice into this cake, a couple of the slices are gonna have those carrots that are going right through the cake, which looks so adorable. You bring this to a party, everyone's gonna be looking at the cake being like, oh my gosh, look at that cake, it's so cute. But then when you cut into it, then like the wows really start. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, and if you do, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. You guys can also subscribe by hitting this button. <laughs> 
by clicking this floating head that's right over here. I'll also leave more links to other videos over here for you guys. Don't forget to come back again next week because we will be making something else into cake. Happy Easter, everybody.